Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 76. Uh, <laughs> I've forgotten just that shorter time. It's time for episode 76, and the dramatic m music to come in when I admit that I, I, and I lost track of what episode number it was. That's not ominous. All right, we have been making our way through Godot's Yacht. We got all the way here to the control room where he goes, ah, oh, time to, uh, time to disengage stuff. Uh, oh, okay. So there's nothing else I need to do there. We've done everything we can do here. Uh, I guess it's time to make our way back to the ship then. And, and let's, let's blow this joint. Let's get out of here. Real quick. Oh, what's in the command console? Oh. Okay. I, I guess I could have used that command console to blow up all those guys. Ah, well. Live and learn. Oh! There, there, there seems... Oh! Hi! You, uh... You appear to have things to say to me. Okay. I have things to say back. Guys, put on your shield. Everyone down. Oh, how many of these guys am I going to have to cut my way through? Oh, Atten's in trouble. We split the party. We all know what happens when you split the party. Probably dead. All right, we'll go back to him. Oh, that's right. He's got the ability to uh, always get back up. Uh, uh, you got anything to loot? I thought I saw the looty thing. All right, let's go back and save Atten. Hang on there, buddy. We're coming. Force wave. Oh, he still managed to take one of them out. Come on, slice him. Let me handle this. Oh, there you are. Uh, do some of that action there. Get a couple more heals in place, right? All right, that works. Ooh, both of you guys are looking kind of rough there. Let's uh, let's fix that, shall we? A little bit more. All right, everybody appears to be back up to full health. We have successfully looted the entire arch of enemies, and we got somebody else hanging around the corner. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and save. I think these were the yeah these were the two that attacked Atten in the uh, in the bar. All right, let's um, preemptively get an energy shield on. Get an energy shield on. Get an energy shield on. Get a buff. And uh, let's oh. You're going to talk. Okay. Finally, we meet. You should tell your companion that he should strike to kill, not wound. Not again. We meet again, handsome, strong, fearful human. That flattery will get you nowhere. Come on, come on. Ladies, what you need is a man who understands the two of you and understands your needs. Seriously? You're, you're going to hit on them in the middle of the count? Like, like they're standing there going, you should have killed us when you had the chance and you're going to start flirting with them? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello, my little sociopath. Psychopath. One of those two. 
I was kind of hoping that mating with scruffy humans might have been the first on that list. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I, I kind of figured that's what you thought. We all see where that got us. All right. Yada, yada, yada. If you're going to attack me, attack me. I didn't run from you two shuttas last time. And this time, I'm going to make sure hey, you stay you know, down. Some are into both. Not, not going to, you know. Let's go stasis field and then... This won't take long. They're immune, aren't they? More where that came from. Okay. Down. More Let's where see that if that'll uh, work. Oh! They, um... I, I... I guess they didn't heal between combat or something? I don't know. I, I was expecting that to carry on for some time. A Twi'lek Spinning Blade. What the heck is a Twi'lek Spinning Blade? It is a melee weapon. One to six. Oh, that's it? Oh, on hit strength damage. All right. That's, uh... Man, that is kind of tempting. Strength damage on hit? DC 18? Oh, and the other one does constitution damage? <laughs> I, I might give Bowder one of these guys. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Uh, some con damage to beat them down. You, you don't have to do a lot of damage if you're knocking their hit point pool down every couple of whacks. Like, let me give that to one of my dual wielders. Strength damage, constitution damage. Just spam that, a flurry of those. <laughs> oh, hi. Are, are, are you also in the uh, hunting for the an on-junior club? Where are you going? What are you doing? Are you seriously running that way, that long way around to do that? I, I don't... What are you even doing? Did Bethesda program your, your, your pathfinding? Oh, no, 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 no. I am going to walk you fully into the room. And then we can do this. Otherwise, you're going to take the long, stinking way around. And that's just going to be sad. That's going to be all kinds of sad. Hey, he had stuff I could have looted. I saw it. It was there. It was in his hand. Come on, guys. We, we can't split the party. Splitting the party is how bad things happen. Yep. Time to take you down to size. <laughs> Did you just say to the exceptionally short hand, "Time to take you down to size"? That that <laughs> that just seems wrong. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Don't hear it about saying like like. I mean. Dang yo, man. That's kind of cold. <laughs> All right. I need to head more north-ish. Yeah, more north-ish. Yeah, let's just lead in with a massive force wave. Take them down. More where that came from. Fine. Fine. Get the half bite. Done. Everybody still with me? Everybody still with me? Dude, you want to run? Oh, fine. Okay, whatever. Whatever. That's your choice. These are choices people make.
we make it? Oh, doggone it. All right. Um, sorry, I didn't expect the game to not make the switch. I can't believe we just blew up Godot's yacht. That's going to destabilize crime throughout this whole sector. Yeah, well, you'll understand if I hold back the tears. <laughs> I'm not you feeling that understand. bad either. Crime in the YouTube system, it's like the economy. <laughs> Plus the power I'm sorry. Working. Did you say Even crime in the YouTube system? Again, the system is going to be feeling the effects for years to come. Yeah, well, at least we didn't find that Jedi Master with the weird name. Zez, Kai, whatever it is. Zez Kyle? Um, well, that's not true. I already found him. Actually, he found me first. He hired me oh. to watch out for you. Keep Goto off your back until he could meet with you. We'll need to head back to Nar Shaddaa. To that safe house off the docks. I said I'd meet up with him there if we ran into any trouble. Oh, we ran into trouble. What do you want now? If huh. you thought to escape my notice so easily, you would be wrong. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift. This droid. It will serve you well. I've seen this journey. movie. Somebody check him for uh for hidden lightsabers. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's start with the obvious question. How did you get on my ship? I do not understand what you mean. All right. Uh, tell me more about the droid. As I indicated, this unit will remain with you and guard you. It will also serve as an effective voice for my orders during your journey. Sure. And how do I know it won't try to kill me? If you say so. That you do not prove yourself otherwise. <laughs> oh, ha ha ha. It's not Goto. It's Go To. Seriously, guys. All right. All right. Uh, thanks for the droid. Let's get to Narshida. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Don't worry. We'll, we'll have a talk in two in a so, minute. You have returned from exile. Kavar thought you might. If only to wander your old battlegrounds. But I did not think you would come to Nar Shaddaa. Oh. Still, you were always a difficult one to read, both when you were tied to the Force, and even more when it was lost to you. Oh. <laughs> then you know I have come to end you. No. Why did Kavar think I would return from exile? I do not know. It was a sense he had. Mm -hmm. He had served in war as you had. Perhaps he thought he understood you. Or maybe he simply hoped he did. He <laughs> felt you were the key to understanding the threat we face. The others were not so certain. But so many of them are gone now. As you no doubt know. Alright, my questions are why me, why me, or why me? I think I'll ask, why me? He sent some connection between you and many of the worlds touched by war. He thought by traveling to such places, he could achieve understanding. Okay. Uh, I have questions. No doubt. I think the answers will provide us both with some measure of peace. I have kept secrets for far too long. Okay, Mr. Mullins. No, Mullet. Mullins was... Uh the secret operative you played in Soldier of Fortune, I think. All right. Where are all the... Oh, oh, that's a lot of... Uh, ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of questions. Um, at the end of... Yeah, let's start here. At the end of my trial, you and the other masters said something happened to me. What was it? Ah, so the records of your trial were found. Good. Sometimes I think this galaxy would be a better place if there were less Jedi secrets. But I have no yeah. answer for you. As much as I would like to give one, we vowed never to speak of it. And although I would not keep promises to Jedi, I keep promises I make to others. And Kavar Seriously? was a friend. If we were gathered as one, then the promise might be revoked. Until then, I can say nothing. Uh, I have other questions. What I can tell you, I will. You can, yeah, if you can tell me. Oh, what you can tell me. What you can tell me is apparently nothing, but all right, let, let's start at the top. Where are all the Jedi? They have scattered, but there is purpose in their movements. Hmm. It is both to hunt and draw out our enemies. Somehow, they, we, are being targeted through the Force, and when Jedi gather, 
we are vulnerable. So we have chosen places okay. where it's difficult to sense others through the force, whether on planets dense with life or touched by war. In such places, we may conceal ourselves, All right. and gather information without presenting. That's actually an answer. Service. See, this is what answers look like. Kavar's plan. Could, can, can we go back to the other ones and get to? Uh, oh wait, part of part of Kavar's plans. Uh, what plan? Yes, he felt if our enemy cannot detect us, then perhaps they would believe themselves victorious and show themselves. And yeah. we knew that the war would be lost Maybe. if we continued to act as we had. I do not know where they wander now. There are few of us, though. Too few. And I have not heard from them in some time. Hmm. Uh... All right. Atris is on Atris. Telos. But I had thought she had gone to Qatar with the others. Apparently not. You sound surprised. Yes, she holds the last of the Jedi teachings. It is good she survived. Class of the Jedi teachings, because we don't have books. We don't have holocrons. I I played the Old Republic MMO. Th there's always a holocron hidden behind the boxes on the hard to reach ledge that it, you got to jump just so, like like a a really horrible sadistic game of 3D Frogger. Where does that come later? Okay, I had other questions. Very well. Uh, what happened to all the Jedi then? It is a long story. Okay. There is no harm in you knowing. And someone should know. Only a handful of us remained after the Jedi Civil War. Barely a hundred in number. <laughs> Shut up then, about what? Even that hundred began to vanish. In places where the Force seemed blind. The only pattern we determined is that when Jedi gathered, they were seen no more. At the last hmm. Jedi Conclave on the Miraluka world of Qatar, the entire planet was wiped out, an entire race destroyed, because the Jedi chose to gather there. It was only then that we realized we were facing something far more powerful than we knew how to fight. Okay. Um, <laughs> why did you hide? Is that why you hid? Or so you retreated? Let's go, so you retreated. That sounds a kinder way of saying, so you turned tail and ran. We could not allow the fact that when we gathered, we placed everything around us at risk. A Jedi's life is sacrifice, but we cannot allow our presence or actions to endanger others. And we could not fight an enemy that will not reveal hmm. itself. But any Jedi, anyone who was strong in the Force, who attempted to track down such a threat, vanished without a trace. Uh, so tell me about this threat. I know little about it. Of course. I know more of the absence it leaves behind than its face. Whatever this threat was, it was targeting us and everything around us. Yet it was somehow weak enough that it was afraid to confront us openly. Is that it weakness or is that not presenting a target? It would finally show itself. It was a faint hope, but it was the best we had. It was mm. Kavar's plan. He was always the greatest tactician. The greatest among us, tactician. And had seen war more than the rest of us. That that doesn't sound like he had to see much to see more than the rest of you guys, but okay. Uh I apparently have other questions. Very well. Alright, so that's where all the Jedi. That's what happened to him. Why did you cast me out of the order? We told you it was because you followed Revan to war, but you ask because you are not certain of that answer. I asked or because it was a question we, on the list. The day we cast you out, that is the moment I decided to leave the Order. Because I do not believe oh. you truly faced the reasons you were exiled. And if we do not examine such hmm. truths, then we are already lost. I think it was because we were afraid. Afraid of what? It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. To see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it, it is more frightening than you know. Yeah, but... You guys were the ones who severed my connection to the Force, right? I got that right? Isn't that what happened? Or or has the game been lying to me from a certain point of view? I still hate that line. What I said was true from a certain point of view. Don't get me started on that. Okay. 
Uh, I have other questions, well. apparently. All right. Where have all the Jedi gone? What happened to them? I need to know why he cast me out. So why are you a Nar Shadda? I had thought perhaps that here upon the smuggler's moon, I might find some evidence of the threat we face. Yeah. The on Jedi all you're going to find are huts. I did not believe the two were connected, but there was a chance. <laughs> And the strong currents of life here in Nar Shaddaa make perceiving a force... Yeah, I noticed that. I could use it to cloak my movements and watch... The first thing we noticed when we landed. All right, I've got other questions. All right, since you seem to be forthcoming with answers, how about... Why did you cut me off from the force? Is that what you think? We did no such thing. Oh. But it is a technique that Wait, has been... Wait, I thought you guys did it. ...in the past, yes. It is a hmm. rare sentence, and to my knowledge, it has only been done once, at a moment where a Jedi discipline has failed. What caused your loss, I fear, was different. I am not hmm. certain I understand it. We did not understand it fully then, and only recently do I feel we may have become enlightened. The other masters may you have more knowledge feel this, you may have I become not, enlightened. I do not know if they even live. Does it matter? It seems your power has Well, turned. I mean, Perhaps the turned? loss was not a loss at all. All right. Uh, I feel lied to. I thought it was you guys that cut my cut me off from the force. And this once before. Does it happen to be strange that I have a, a strange connection to the force that was cut and returned in this mysterious threat? Uh, um, oh, is that foreshadowing? That might be foreshadowing. We'll find out. All right, I got other questions. Very well. All right, why did you cut me off? Um, I already asked at the end of my trial, but let's see if we'll say something new now that we've had a, a good chance to chat and open up about things. Um, so at the end of my trial... Uh, so the records okay. of your trial were found, but I have no answer, uh, and Kavar was a friend. Okay, I got other questions, Very though. Well. All right. Uh, do you know anything of force bonds and how to end them? Yes, such bonds are a connection that can be formed at moments of crisis or in the slow understanding that grows between master and apprentice. Uh, it is most common okay. between two beings who are sensitive to the force. It allows the transmission of feelings of influence. It was something you were gifted with, as I recall, before your fall. You form such attachments easier than most. Even to those who could feel the force only faintly. Is, is, this is why I have a herd. It, which is saying something. Uh. Uh. Well, yeah, let's start off with I've developed a bond with somebody that is else. Most unusual and unnatural. I have never heard of a bond. Of oh, thank you for strength. that. I appreciate being special. So how would I end it? There were a few within the Order who knew more than I did of such bonds, but their students were few, lost in the Mandalorian Naturally. Wars. It was rumored that Revan studied such bonding deeply, both through the Jedi No, I played Revan. He didn't know that. Before he left the Order and went to war. Some council thought it was smart to brainwipe him and try again. Uh... Yeah. Okay. So, how would I end such bonds? I do not know. A bond between two living beings is not something easily broken. It is not a choice. It is like breaking a feeling. Like turning away from the Force. Hmm. To break a bond, your feelings would have to change. Or one of you would have to die. But even then, the bond wouldn't go away. It would simply... It would simply be empty. A wound. All right. Um, I think that was the last of the questions. Very well. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to do. I have heard enough. Prepare to die. So let me. Uh, let me go to a question that I know will be short. Ah. Uh, yeah. But I have no. Yeah. And Kavar was. It? All right. Uh, that's all I wish to know. What happens now? Now. Now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. Mm -hmm. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. 
I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Oh. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. Mm -hmm. I, too, lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that were oh. brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. Um. So you blame them to fight the Mandalorian Wars was no betrayal. Your students were. Yeah, well, let's push the point we've been pushing every other opportunity we've had to do this. They were taught to protect innocence even when you would not. No, no, they were not to blame, but many of the mm. order did so. It was a difficult time, a time of strong emotion. I thought perhaps the Jedi the council, uh, distanced the themselves from emotion. Had grown arrogant in their teachings. Mm -hmm. It is easy to cast blame, but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their <gasps> arrogance. The Council's gonna. The Order's gonna. Flawed. Not recognize once that they're flawed. One of the Council claim responsibility for. Good thing I'm sitting for down. Exar Kun, for <laughs> Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet. You were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Yeah, our I noticed one that. one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. Mm -hmm. And now, that decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something wrong in us, in our teaching. Perhaps. And though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me. So I left the council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered, and why many in the Republic do not trust us, and why we do not trust ourselves. But do something about Make it. No mistake. I am no Jedi. Yes, you are. Jedi, you see. After this, there will be nothing. And I think um. it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. Uh, but Reverend redeemed himself. Certainly that must give you hope. I urge you to reconsider for all the falling failings of the Jedi. There have been so many successes. Let's end this. I'm sick of your ramblings. <laughs> no, letting you live seems more punishment, and it will serve as a lesson to other Jedi. Perhaps weaken them with your doubts. No. Uh, let's try to, let's try to reconsider. There were many successes. It provides no comfort at all. For reasons in which I still must keep... Come on, man. It's like trying to cheer up Eeyore. Redemption was not Revan's choice. And I have never believed those of the council who attempt to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Is there anything you can teach me? But we have spoken enough, I think. And words, I think, dull us both. Let us speak through the Force, through sparring. This Wait. Yen form should prove appropriate. Its best use is when you are outnumbered, which I fear suits your, our predicament perfectly. You will find it easier to deflect blast of fire with this form, and hmm. it shall also guard you against critical strikes by your opponents. Okay. Okay. Perhaps exile has been good to you indeed. It has certainly not dulled your instincts. Nor the speed. Yeah, I move with the speed of plot. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, hmm. I will meet you there. And thank you, Exile. You're returning. It is good that you are back among us. So I can call myself a Jedi now? Journal entry added. Lost Jedi, you encounter Zekai El on Narshada and spoke with him. He agreed to meet you at the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine when you had united all the Jedi Masters. Okay. Nice! We seem to be awfully alone in here. Alright, let's go ahead and save the game. Are you? Yeah, I want to save. And... That's going to be it for this episode. If you're watching live, hang tight because we have two more episodes to the record. So a live stream will continue for two more episodes that will go up on YouTube later this week. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live... 
You can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.